the subtle ways and seductive methods that the enemy of God is using to introduce the Omega of apostasy within the Seventh-day Adventist Church movement is the spiritual formation which was used by the Desert Fathers during the time of the monastic age of the church and also popularized by Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus. The craftiness of this uh, spiritual formation has many disguises and has already been introduced and has been practiced in some of the churches in the North American division of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Friends, those pastors or those leaders who promote or would like to see innovation contrary to the present truth and the three angels messaging of the Seventh-day Adventist Church raises a red flag amongst us. The contemporary church movement through music and through plays and theatrics are one of the ways, the subtle ways that spiritual formation or other disguises that had already crept inside the church is already prevalent in our denomination. Friends, let us be wary of what is being introduced by those who do not even believe on the Sabbath, promulgated by those who are ecumenical in their spirit and language and are not uh, believers of the three angels message let us be warned my friends that these pastors popular preachers have been invited in even in our own churches i'm not saying we should not invite people but friends if we are not even obedient or listening to the spirit of prophecy and to the pro messenger of the lord the prophet of god ellen g white how much more this new age ecumenical preachers who are popular even amongst our leaders. Friends, let us be reminded that the Bible says, broad is the way that leads to destruction, and narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. That's what Jesus had said. Popular culture introduced in a contemporary setting to attract our young people, friends, is very, very, very dangerous without the present truth and the three angels messaging. The Sabbath, the fall of Babylon, the righteousness of Jesus Christ, and also the coming out of the true people of God from, from darkness to marvelous light. I am, I am amazed or interested in, in some of the churches that, that had introduced innovation in, 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 a, in a guise of progressive thinking. The churches had been altered like the, the, the worship method, the, the, the emphasis, on, the emphasis, emphasis on, on, on self, on feelings, and emotion rather than the truth from the Word of God. Yes, friends, I know this is a great battle, a great co controversy battle. But let me remind you, be wary of the popular contemporary spiritual formation in many guises in our church.